As a kid growing up in the Rio Grande Valley, I had big dreams of the NBA. Although that quite didn't work out just as I had hoped, I have found my passion in the law. As an attorney of more than 15 years, I've witnessed the struggles families endure as they await trial in the Justice of the Peace Court. That is why, if elected as your next Justice of the Peace, I am deeply committed to effecting change in our community. I plan to advocate for the creation of a night court and other initiatives aimed at making the court process simpler for families in our area. It is my promise to do what is right for the community and always do what is right for the people. My name is Orlando O.J. Jimenez, and I would be honored to serve as your next Justice of the Peace for Precinct 4. What's going on, everybody? Rock and Roll James. Hope you're enjoying the Raulito Navaira series. It is very interesting, and I really want to thank Raulito Navaira for showing up and hanging out with us here on Hashtag PVT in los Estudios de Macal in Texas with Rock and Roll James. Now, I've got something that uh, might interest a lot of you because we're going public, Raza. Hashtag PVT is growing, and with growth, we need a little bit more funds to be able to help support and sustain the channel with all the work that's done to create this show as well. And plus, we want to grow the channel. We want to be able to go to other places. You know, ir a visitar artistas en sus casas, en sus estudios, wherever they're at, or maybe hang out with them in a restaurant that they like or something like that. But it takes money, and it takes work, and of course, putting the show together, editing and all that. Un servidor es lo que hace. Todo, ¿verdad? So we created a Patreon page for hashtag PVT. If you hit the link right at the bottom, you can pledge some monthly donations, right? For the $9 donation, I'll send you some hashtag PVT stickers. For the $25 donation, I will send you an exclusive hashtag PVT t-shirt that nobody has and nobody will have unless you're part of the team on Patreon. Okay, so click the link at the bottom and pledge some uh, little bit of cash, whether it's $5, $2, $9, $10, $25, $25, lo que puedan, para ayudar el programa. And that way we can get all these wonderful stories of all these Tejano legends and all the artists that come through the show. We can get it out there to everybody all over the United States. States of America. So I appreciate your help. Asusta me one time. Puro piche hashtag PVT papa. There were some shows you didn't do with Emilio for a while. Yeah. Right? Like, what what while. had happened around, around that time? Uh, I mean, he was going through some stuff with a divorce mm -hmm. and, you know. And like, you were caught in the middle. Ooh, I was caught in the middle. Te hablabas con ella en el teléfono y estabas con él en el otro. <laughs> no, I, just I, imagine. And bro. that was just uh, that wasn't it either. It was just, you know, it was putting a lot of strain on my family. Yeah, you know, because it was, uh, yeah, it's I tough. Had, yeah, I had everybody at me. Hey, ¿Por qué no lo estás cuidando? ¿Y qué yeah. pasó? Y I go, yeah. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Y ya no está Raulito en stage con él. ¿Qué pasó? You know, yeah, yeah dude, yeah. Yeah, so I, I I took a break for like two years, I think, and yeah. then uh, my dad, my dad uh, was uh, diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it was two thousand and one. But I, um, we had a talk, and he said, "Mijo, antes que me muera, por favor, regresa con tu carnal." Sí. So I went back with Emilio, and you know. My dad lasted 2003. I think he passed, and uh, you know he got to see us again yeah, together. That's good. So um, we just started again. Yo y mi carnal, and uh, you know Emilio was going through some stuff, and you know he had a couple of accidents and, and DWIs, yeah, and yeah, and, and it was a rough time. It was a rough time, and yeah. but I think after. He puts those hip hop dudes to shame, man. <laughs> you know, Emilio yeah. was a he was a rebel dude. Yeah, like yeah. you know, if you really look I think at it, it Guns N' Roses style, yeah. bro. I think, uh, yeah, because I, I'm not gonna mention any names, but uh, other Tejano artists would get in trouble, but no se veía nada. You know, nobody mm -hmm. would. It wouldn't make the news. Or it wasn't anything. Emilio. Yeah, Emilio was San Antonio, bro. Yeah. That's what and, it was, bro. And that's what I put it me, carnal, because he would say, Gee, why are they picking on me? I go, because you're messing up. And I, my brother was just a competitor. Yeah. You know, I think 
no se quería poner viejo, mi yeah. mi carnal. He wanted to go out in his prime, you know. Yeah. Because, you know, you, like I said, like we said earlier, ta, you know, your intocables and your Bobby Pulidos were coming in and all that stuff, and he wasn't the young gun anymore, you know. But, man, it's just you're think, he's thinking ahead. You don't think about the customers you lose. You think about how many more am I going to get? get yeah. I mean, you have to think like that, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Pero I was thinking positive. Quería, he was real competitive and all that stuff. And uh, he just, you know, he wanted to leave me. This, yeah, I'm going to be the first person to live to be 100. I go, and you know what? My brother will never die. I mean, I hear him every day, mm -hmm. you know. I dream of him, you know. And I had uh, stopped drinking for Lent this last year. And the, first gig, the first gig was in uh, Monterrey. So we did the gig, and then we took a break, and then we went to a hotel and fell asleep. He, I was dreaming. Mm -hmm. It was the same gig. We took a break, and we went to the dressing room. And estaba uh, Emilio ahí. But I, it was a dream, you know. Estaba Emilio ahí. Dijo, ¿qué tienes? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no estás tomando? Estás boring, ya madre. Estás boring, ya madre. The people don't want to see that shit. That's boring, the Amahere. Yeah. You better drink something porque you, you just not, the people aren't bored out there with you. you just, yeah, and yeah. Destiny comes up and says, Pa, and they say, yeah, Pa, Pa. He just, he quit for Lent. He goes, I don't care. This is a business. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. I woke up. Okay. I said, Phew. Yeah. It's not the real thing. Wow, it's amazing, man, because, I mean, uh, it, it's kind of hard when you're used to performing with you know alcohol mm -hmm. to perform without it you think that you're not going to be the same but you can probably be better you know it, mm -hmm. you never know you have to think positive but well i mean i i'm not saying that i quit completely because we just came from a cruise but but know, it ain't a know, gallon of jack no, like it yeah, used to no, be no, no. <laughs> <laughs> back yeah, in the no. day mostly, you know? mostly now you know because <laughs> i don't want to go through the conversation of saying oh i quit or i just want uh, i i don't drink no more or anything like that so when they buy me a beer and all that stuff because the people they get offended man uh-huh si no yeah, yeah. yeah they get offended <laughs> so uh that's like me, member. <laughs> yeah yeah that's what i do you know they'll buy me something and then i'll give it to one of the guys and but yeah, I just stopped saying that because yeah. right away, just was done. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It's it's disrespectful to the Como family. dicen el valle, que pajo. <laughs> <laughs> so um, right now, you're just with the band. You're doing, you're performing. Well, we have a dog. big, big Iaquita Minha, too, because uh, I'm so proud of my, my kids, man. Uh, uh, both uh, graduates of uh, Texas University in Austin. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, they, they got their education. No, they're going papa, you know. They they got their education. But now uh, they're doing 100% uh, pura musica, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I have them. And right now we're concentrating on Destiny. Destiny has a, a new CD coming out. There's okay. three singles right now. That you can find on Spotify and YouTube. Yeah. And they're what's the name of the CD? Uh, La Preferida. La Preferida? Yeah, La Preferida. And uh, the, first, the first single is Inolvidable. Y luego hay otro, Entrégate, and then uh, La Preferida. Mm -hmm. And you all are booking, where do we have to, where do they have to call, where do the audience have to call? 1-800-Raulito. Because <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he goes to your party or your festival yeah. or your dance, there's going to be a lot of fun going on, I guarantee you, man. I see, yes. No, um, I have, a, you can either message us on Facebook or you have the card or no. I have a number, but I'll share with you. Or, all right. or I can give well, all you got to do is give me the information, and I'm going to put the yeah. the link in the description down there, and that's going to have all of Raulito's information right under there in this video, this YouTube video. Right there. And all you do is just click on it, and guess what? It takes you to all their platforms, so you can like it, you can share it, oh, you. and you can book them. You do all that? Recommend them. Yeah, I'll do all that for you, bro. But you know how to do all that? Oh, yeah, man. Shoot, That's yeah. That's bien computer savvy. Well, trata un poquito, verdad?